today's first video is uh, some new stories uh, from ethiopia and eritrea firstly the capital city of ethiopia is ababa uh, which has run out of burial place cemeteries have run out of burial place and a decision has been made by Addis Ababa government uh, which is being criticized by some religious groups. Second new story is also from the capital Addis Ababa where uh, a signboard, uh, a board has been erected by Oromia government. Uh, uh, what is written on this board which has become a source of conflict? Uh, uh, some non-Oromo uh, residents of Addis Ababa and uh, neighboring areas, they are criticizing that they say that this board erected by Oromia government shows Oromia government's uh, ambitions about Addis Ababa. Uh, thirdly, we have a new story uh, about Russia Eritrea ties on Wednesday. A meeting is due to be held between Eritrean uh, Foreign Minister Usman Saleh and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. What is the agenda of this meeting? And lastly, a World Food Program has uh, released a message in connection with ongoing drought in the Horn of Africa. World Food Program says that around 20 million people could be in dire need of aid in this region, in the Horn of Africa, if the drought continues. We have a video clip shared by WFP for you. Firstly, viewers, uh, Addis Ababa uh, government has taken a decision which is being opposed by some religious groups. Uh, the decision is about uh, cemeteries. That uh, cemeteries have run out of a burial place. Uh, Ajayb Komsa is an official of Addis Ababa government. Uh, he has uh, talked uh, to some news outlets. He says, Addis Ababa government has decided that uh, those dead bodies uh, which have been buried uh, for uh, seven or more than seven years will be exhumed to make room for new, uh, for the burial of new dead bodies. So, uh, the remains of the dead bodies buried for seven or more than seven years of, uh, will be removed. Their families, their relatives will be intimated if they want to collect these remains. The decision is being criticized by some religious groups. They are saying that it should not happen. Now, we uh, are not... Uh, giving any opinion about this move by Addis Ababa government. It's a religious issue, uh, religious groups and the government should sort out this problem. But obviously, uh, the capital has limited area. Uh, if uh, cemeteries keep on expanding, how will the capital uh, accommodate all these uh, cemeteries? Uh, secondly, a second new story is also from Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Uh, Oromos call it Finfine. They say Addis Ababa is part of Oromia, though it's capital. Uh, Ethiopian capital. Capital is owned, shared by all regions. And uh, Addis Ababa is capital of Ethiopia. But Romo say that it's part of uh, Oromia. And uh, around uh, Addis Ababa, all uh, areas, all zones belong to the Oromia region. Now, uh, a board, a signboard has been erected by Oromia government, which has become a source of controversy between uh, some uh, local groups. Uh, 
which are criticizing that the Romanian government should not create any conflicts. What is this board, signboard about? Have a look at this uh, signboard erected by uh, Romania region's government. What is written? It's written uh, that uh, welcome to uh, Romania's capital, Addis Ababa. Finfine. It's written Finfine. Welcome to Romania's capital, Finfine. Finfine means Addis Ababa. Now, what is the capital of uh, Romania? Romania region's capital is Adama. Adama city is Romania region's capital. Addis Ababa is Ethiopian capital. This board has been erected by Addis Ababa government, by investment board of Addis Ababa government. You can see investment board's email and uh, its uh, contact uh, number written on this board. It means that this board has been erected by Romania government. And where has it been erected? It's uh, uh, placed... Uh, in uh, Kiros town, uh, Sar Bitti area, Kiros town, in front of old South African embassy. What we have learned from the ground that it's uh, area of the capital of Addis Ababa, where this board has been erected. So, uh, Romia government seems to be saying that Addis Ababa, called Finfine, is the capital of Romia government. That is what is being opposed by non romos They say that Addis Ababa is the capital of Ethiopia, not the capital of uh, only Romania region. Thirdly, viewers, we have a new story about Russia, Eritrea ties. Uh, we have seen several developments uh, regarding bilateral ties uh, between the two countries since the start of Russia-Ukraine conflict. Eritrea supported Russia. It supports Russia in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. And on Wednesday, a key meeting is due to be held. Usman Saleh, Eritrean foreign minister, is due to meet Sergei Lavrov. Russian Foreign Minister, what is the agenda of this meeting? Before that, uh, uh, after the start of Russia-Ukraine war, uh, we have seen Eritrea openly support Russia at a uh, Union Assembly session. Uh, Eritrea backed Russia. Then at a session of Union Human Rights Council, which was uh, convened to remove Russia, from this council again, uh, Eritrea openly supported uh, Russia. Eritrea was the only country in Africa which uh, voted in favor of Russia. And after that, uh, we saw statements that, uh, not statements, we saw some new stories that uh, Eritrea was to receive some arms shipments from Russia and that uh, Russia was planning to establish a naval base in Eritrean waters on Eritrean coast. So, uh, Eritrea-Russia ties uh, have been very friendly because Russia uh, supported Eritrea when the US and EU imposed sanctions on Eritrea. In this time of crisis, Eritrea is supporting Russia. The question is, what is the agenda of Usman Saleh uh, Sergei Lavrov meeting? Is Usman Saleh going there just to show solidarity with Russia? Or does he have something on the agenda? We'll try to update you tomorrow or after that about the agenda of this meeting. But obviously, this meeting has an agenda. Uh, if uh, the purpose uh, was only to show solidarity. It, it could have been done through a statement and uh, no need of any meeting for solidarity show because uh, Eritrea has been openly supporting Russia. So it means there is some agenda. Uh, we'll have to wait and see about the agenda of this meeting. Uh, is Eritrea hoping to receive something from Russia in terms of arms, in terms of uh, assistance, in terms of investments? Let's see.
Love rates you in coming videos. Lastly, viewers, uh, an uh, alarming, a catastrophic situation is unfolding in the Horn of Africa. Drought is worsening. No signs of any rains. World Food Program says that Ethiopia, Kenya, and Somalia, parts of the three countries, are in the grip of this uh, catastrophic drought. If there is no improvement, around 20 million people could be in dire need of food aid. World Food Program is in need of funds. It is requesting. Uh, 437 million uh, US dollars while the world is focused on Russia-Ukraine conflict on the rehabilitation of uh, refugees from Ukraine people should not ignore a looming crisis uh, which has started in the Horn of Africa watch this uh, video clip uh, shared by World Food Program thanks for watching